Hello everyone, good morning. Good afternoon actually. I'm going to make uh, my lunch today. And uh, I'm going to make uh, potatoes with the bell pepper. And uh, I'm going to share uh, how I do. I'm going to have uh, three potatoes. Uh, one of each uh, shimla, uh, I mean bell pepper, the green, red, orange. And I'm going to use some uh, ginger and I'm going to take a two onions I would prefer in this uh, bell pepper uh, yellow onion more than uh, red or white red onions are more sweeter these are a little bit stronger in taste so when we are making a uh, Potatoes, so the potatoes are tends to be sweeter. So you need uh, if you have everything sweet sweet then uh, It does not uh, taste well. So you need a kind of right combination sweetness with the bitterness and uh, then uh, uh, Top of that we're going to use uh, our uh, uh, Green pepper which is a uh, jalapeno. I'm going to use uh, two of those and I'm going to use two cloves and garlic cloves as I mentioned if you get a bigger knife and just squeeze it on and it's easy to peel the skin off because this is a little kind of tedious to remove the skins on these so once the skin is removed and I'm going to cut everything in small pieces uh, my onion, my bell pepper, my garlic and my green pepper but before I do that, um, I wanted to um, get a help of a microwave oven. I'm going to put these uh, potatoes into microwave. I'm going to uh, co uh, basically bake uh, my microwave uh, potatoes into microwave. But I will share a secret with you that uh, the best results to get uh, from potatoes, not getting a better results but best out of potatoes what I would share with you if you can have any oil uh, I prefer olive oil in my cooking so uh, let me zoom in if you can uh, put uh, just a little bit oil a few drops and you coat that since uh, all my secret ingredients are potato and this is one of the secret ingredient uh, basically I will share with you that why I put the oil so once you uh, we uh, put oil on all three and I'm gonna use a bag and what we do that uh, once uh, you can have any bag plastic bag grocery bag or anything and even colorful bag or you know and you get uh, one piece of napkin you bring it to your microwave and let me show you you put that underneath put your potatoes in there and it's already preset uh, the baked potato and once you break potato we're gonna start and uh, we're gonna come back. Yeah, my potatoes are pretty much baked. So I'm gonna take these out and warm. And very warm. So you take the skin off. Okay, now I'm going to share with you that uh, why I use olive oil. Olive oil basically coats the skin. Uh, I'm gonna wait a few uh, more minutes on these uh, um, while I'm going to prepare other stuff. It's kind of hot. Uh, I'm not really, you know, used uh, my fingers are soft and delicate and uh, uh, I'm gonna give a little time to get it uh, cooled down and once it's cooled down then I'm gonna peel the skin and uh, I'm gonna share 
and right now I'm going to clean up or do the preparation and I'm going to share with you. Yeah, hi, back to the preparation. Uh, as I said, uh, we're going to use a yellow onion, but uh, I changed my mind. I brought one red onion in there because uh, I thought about it, the uh, chili, the green chili, real hard. So I'm going to bring a little bit more sweetness because... Uh, not that I want this food to be appreciated by my kids. I want them to eat and enjoy it rather than, uh, you know, getting, uh, you know, in a same mode that, Dad, this is too hot and excuse. I don't, uh, keeping in the mind that uh, they will love it. So I'm going to share with you that what I did, uh, how I'm going to show you on this if I can zoom in. Uh, when you are uh, doing the cuts, you don't need a real tiny cut, you need a little bit big chunks. So when you're going to have, a, you know, in your plate, so it's gonna, you know, come as a one piece and it looks good. And as for onion, let me zoom in. You don't want it to cut in small pieces. You just, uh, you know, cut it straight. So when it comes in, uh, you know, uh, in connection with the pepper it's a long pieces same thing with the ginger you know I did that and um, what do you do you know uh, like I said I'm gonna use small knife so you can see it better so you just basically slice it real thin and uh, if your ginger is too thick make it half and do it to the same way so you want these real thin slices same thing with onion and with garlic I would suggest, uh, you know, you can chop that because you don't want the long pieces. Uh, and uh, with green chili, uh, see, this is the garlic. You can mash it and you can make a small pieces. And uh, with the chili, you make it real thin. And as for potato, I already uh, did that. So you basically, you know, you need a uh, good size. So... You can cut it in half and they are really good uh, baked in the microwave and uh, I'm gonna go and prepare my tadka and I'm gonna walk you through and let me show you yeah back to our pot I'm going to add uh, olive oil I'm gonna turn the gas high I have a red onion, white onion, one of each, two cloves of garlic, two uh, green pepper, and a small amount of ginger. That, it's uh, in Indian, we uh, call this uh, alu and the shimla mirch. So basically it's so potatoes with the shimla milk, it's a very easy dish and uh, it tastes really good, it's a totally, strictly it's a vegetarian dish and uh, matter of fact uh, most of people enjoy it and uh, one thing I wanted to share with you that uh, when you're doing this, you don't add your spices at, at this moment only thing you have to keep in mind because uh, when you are preparing your turka, you want your jeera to make a little bit brownish color. So once it's started, you add this time and it cooks well. Basically it gives the same coloring as it blends in with it because if you add later, I'm using like two and a half spoon. It's not a teaspoon, it's a small spoon. Uh, so once, uh, let me zoom in and show it to you. This is the how it's gonna look. So basically you need that jeera. Not too much, not too little. See if uh, I'm moving around, if you can zoom in and take a look each of onions has sticking one of two of these so once we're gonna have in our uh, potatoes in there so basically it's gonna be sharing that part so if you have a too much it's gonna be all over 
it's not gonna look nice if you have too little then you know it's not a noticeable so you need a fair amount of that stuff and um, it's gonna take a it won't take that long it's gonna take a few minutes it's just like doing saute you don't want it to burn your onion too much so you want uh, ginger also like a saute a little bit and you want them to stand as is not real mushy or something it's like a, so when you are eating uh, uh, potatoes and the bell pepper you have that uh, little bit of tingling sensation when you get a piece of ginger on your tongue and you enjoy it uh, you probably only won't like it if you hate ginseng or ginger you don't like it then you're gonna say that wow i don't like this at all but um, I know that uh, my kids, they love Indian food, but as a preference, if uh, given to them, they will definitely like, uh, you know, hamburgers or pizzas or anything, any fast food. But uh, when I cook, uh, that's a kind of good compliment or great compliment from the kids. They tell, mom, when dad cooks, you know, we eat everything. And uh, it's not that uh, my wife, she's a great cook, and uh, uh, I really enjoy her cooking, but um, this is my passion, like I like it uh, to cook, and uh, since I start sharing with you, it's kind of giving a relief to my wife, she's saying, whoa, so you're going to be cooking today, so now I like it, and I just, uh, you know, I'm telling my wife, okay, I'll cook, and then I will share with you guys. And uh, if you take a look, let me zoom in. It's um, while I was talking. Uh, see, it's all already turned a little bit, um, you know, brown. Now I can add my spices in there. Again, I have a two uh, green pepper. I'm, I'm not going to add too much, but one is good enough. And the salt is according to uh, your uh, uh, to, uh, potatoes and uh, your uh, stuff, uh, uh, bell pepper. And I'm gonna add a little bit uh, garam masala. Garam masala is a part of uh, Indian cooking, uh, uh, really, and everyone uh, loves it. But uh, but majority of the people, you know, don't use garam masala because uh, garam masala, if people uh, think that it's not good for you and uh, then they don't use it and uh, turmeric definitely I want turmeric in there because this is the one brings the color and uh, now I'm going to mix it up so this is how it's gonna look if we take a look again see the yeah hi I have to turn my fan uh, on because it's important when you're putting the spices and uh, when you uh, do it, it kind of uh, you know gets in the air, it's the uh, airborne particle, and uh, my photographer uh, cameraman is complaining it too much uh, uh, spices going on. So bear with me with the noise. Um, I'm just uh, gonna turn it a real bit loud so it can uh, suck out all the smoke. So I'm going to turn this. Uh, down and if you, you know, I can zoom in see all my tarka is uh, prepared fully uh, like I said you don't want to burn it too much and very important now we are going to add our bell pepper so once we are going to be adding a bell pepper and uh, we are going to mix it up again and it's important thing I wanted to share with you at this point you don't add uh, potatoes because potatoes are already cooked if you add potatoes, then uh, they are going to become like a mashed potato, you won't see that. Uh, we want that uh, potatoes in there and we want it to, uh, you know, move them around real softly and slowly. That I'm going to share with you. Let me zoom in. See, this is already coated. And this vegetable, like uh, I said, uh, you want it to, uh, you know, have it form. This is, uh, you can do it, 
you, we can eat it as is, but uh, I won't do that. I will give it like a minute or so. Uh, I just put my gas a little bit low so it won't burn. And uh, you just make sure that you're ro rotating around when you rotate. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, like I said, uh, let me zoom in. Uh, it's, uh, you know, like a minute. We, we don't have to cook this one too much. And now I'm going to add the potatoes and I'm going to show you, like I said, this is the last item you wanted to add in. You don't want to add this one before. One thing I wanted to share with you, the tip, you don't want to use a, a tomato. Because it, as I mentioned earlier, the tomatoes are more, uh, not water based, more they are 100% water. And that's going to, you know, not going to blend with your, uh, this, uh, uh, bell pepper and with uh, your uh, potatoes so it won't taste that good so let me zoom in you don't want to turn around too much uh, I'm gonna put my like I said gas well low and you just basically turn it over so you're gonna be basically coating with that uh, the spices on your uh, potato and the potato pieces you know it's your choice you want to make it big or you want to make it small and um, it's already start looking beautiful if you look at them this is all ready and I'm going to taste it and tell you my honest uh, opinion like I said before I do that like I said our Indian cooking is incomplete without the cilantro so I'm going to add cilantro at this moment another tip you don't dump this cilantro in there because once you dump it, it's going to stick at one place because it's a solid base uh, uh, vegetable co we are cooking today. If it's a gravy, you just dump it and then mix it up or stir it uh, stir with your spoon. But in this case, you sprinkle it. So let me zoom in and show you that uh, now we have to use our hand to sprinkle it. Now we are finished. Again, it's your own choice how much uh, cilantro you want, but uh, you want, like I said, everything too much of something won't taste out good. A little bit of too, um, of anything, it won't come out good. By having the sufficient uh, right amount of combination, it gives you the pleasure of everything. So I'm going to turn my gas off and I'm going to uh, taste it to share with you. Let me grab my spoon. Okay, I'm going to share with you. I'm going to take a little bit uh, onion, saute, and um, potato, and green pepper, bell pepper, and one red, of course. And there is a as you can see it, let me zoom in. You see, these are the ginger I was talking about. And um, this is uh, my preparation. And how beautiful it looks. So, it can serve with the uh, roti, tortilla, um, or chapati. And, uh, but it will taste better if you have a plain pranta. So since I said uh, plain pranta, I'm going to make it right now and I'm going to share with you that will be my second dish. I'll make a roti first and then I'll make a pranta and this is the perfect combination as a vegetarian dish with the pranta and it can serve in a morning time at the breakfast, it can serve at lunch time it can serve at a I wouldn't advise at the dinner time with the pranta because the prantas are too heavy. They are not meant to go at night time. But again, it's uh, anybody's taste. If you love pranta, some people want uh, bread all the time. Some want a pranta or roti. It's all personal choices. But uh, normal, uh, real life, it being advisable to have it in morning breakfast pranta and after. So I'm going to share with you. I will taste this one. And I'll tell you, I'm going to take first a bite of potato. It's 
really good. Amazingly, as I mentioned, you don't want red onions in there because they are more sweeter. You want a little bit of bitterness. You add yellow onion and the pepper. As I mentioned yesterday, it's strong pepper. That's a good taste on tongue. And I'm going to try the bell pepper. I think even uh, while I'm uh, chewing it, you can feel it, no, not feel it, you can hear it. That sensation you want, you don't want it like a mushy stuff which it goes in your mouth and uh, slips through, you don't enjoy it. You want something, put it in the mouth, get the pleasure out of it. That isn't the best cooking, I would say. I'm going to try the ginger and onion. If I close up, this is good stuff. I'm going to try with that. Mm. Perfect. Ginger. If you put in small pieces, it will lost its identity. You want ginger to stand out. That's why I share with you. That's one of the tip. You keep it along pieces. It feels so good. And I really appreciate watching and thank you. And I really getting some concerns that uh, regarding my secret ingredients and I'm going to share definitely those and um, as one of the secret which I mentioned to you you coat your potatoes with olive oil or any oil it gives a better uh, coating uh, potato versus the original potato it gives you better because uh, uh, when it bakes it comes out, turns out good. You do it separately, you will feel the difference. And uh, now I'm going to cook a roti and I'm going to share with you. And thank you again for watching. Easy step of Indian Punjabi style cooking potatoes with bell pepper. And thank you again. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye bye.